A bunch of beauty products and medicine are seen lying on the table. An alarm started ringing, until an aged woman shuts it down. Then she gets up and picks up a pot and urinates in it, after which she takes a cotton pad and soaked it up. Then she gently rubbed it over her face. Her name is Virginia. Later on, she goes out and kisses her daughter, Faye. Her daughter sniffs the smell and gets disgusted. She asks her if she is again using odd ways of treating her skin. She tells her that she will do anything possible to look young. Then the lady goes to her fridge and begins to pour beet juice for herself. Her daughter tells her how she is overly obsessed with staying young no matter what. Virginia then tells her daughter to never marry someone for their money, and here it is revealed that her daughter is a law school student. Later on, Virginia tells her daughter that she has faith in her. Afterwards, she goes to the window and sees Bernie. Her daughter comes and tells her that Bernie is getting divorced soon, so she should try to ask Bernie out, but she declines by saying that when her father was alive, she praised Bernie in front of him and he got furious. She then tells her she has no chance of being with Bernie. Her daughter pricks her thoughts by telling her that Bernie goes to the nearby grocery store every Friday, so she must visit the place in order to have an accidental meetup with him as well. Then her daughter leaves, and she begins to smile and think about the notion. On Friday, Virginia is seen at the store, fixing her makeup. The shop owner comes and asks her if she needs help. She tells him that she is all set. Afterwards, he leaves and Virginia feels discomfort. At the same time, Bernie enters the store. He goes up to Virginia and greets her. Then he tells her that he hasn't seen her since Bill passed away. Later, he compliments her by telling her that she looks good. Then Virginia asks him about his ex-wife Anita. He tells her that he is not with her anymore, to which she tells him how sorry she feels. Suddenly, Cassie, Bernie's girlfriend, interrupts the chat and later on, it is revealed that Cassie and Virginia have known each other since college days. Bernie says his goodbye to Virginia and leaves. Afterwards, Virginia asks Cassie about how she looks wonderfully young being the same age as her. Cassie tells her about her diet and exercise, but Virginia asks her to tell the truth. Cassie agrees to tell her the truth but also warns her to stay away from Bernie. Virginia acts all innocent by claiming it was just a coincidence. Later on, she hands her a card and tells her to make a call on this number and make an appointment. In the next scene, Virginia is seen sitting in an office. She calls herself hideous. She tells Dr. Dennett that she has aged so fast, and she had no other option but to get plastic surgery just like Cassie. And it tells her she can't do her procedure as her job isn't to make people look young, who wants to be beautiful, and who thinks of them as ugly. The doctor rejects to do her surgery. Virginia stands up and immediately apologizes by saying that she doesn't actually think that she is utterly ugly. Moreover, she begins to cry and starts complaining about her life. Virginia tells Enid that she isn't originally from Beverly Hills. She came here and married a rich man for his money to make her life stable. She moreover claims that she never felt like herself ever, and she thinks it is too late now. And it tells her that it isn't late to achieve her true self. Then she comes near her and tells her that she is not a plastic surgeon, but a worshipper of all human forms. She tells Virginia to believe in herself, that she wants to get her face treated by Dr. Enid. Virginia tells her that she doesn't love herself right now, but wants to become someone who does. Enid finds this answer honest, and she asks her to follow her. In the next scene, Virginia is seen sitting in front of a huge ring light, and Enid tells her how her methods are secretive, just like the formula for coke. Then Virginia looks at a wall with pictures of people with their befores and after. And it tells her that these are her clients and that she has changed their lives. Virginia is then handed over a fee voucher by Enid, who asks her to go through it properly. She comes home and calls her business manager. She tells him to arrange the amount for the procedure, but he tells her that she is broke and doesn't have any money. She then tells him to sell something, but he keeps on insisting to change her mind, but all in vain. At night, Virginia is in her bathroom. She started applying a black mask on her face. She then hears some chuckles. She goes near the window and sees Bernie and Cassie making out. Cassie angrily looks at her and closes the drapes. The next morning, Virginia goes to Enid and signs off the surgery. Then Enid takes a look at her hands and tells her that she will treat her hands too. Virginia feels confused as it was the first time she was hearing about this procedure. She told Enid that she can't afford the surgery. And it tells her that she will do it for free because her motive isn't to get money after all, but to provide a vision to one's life. This makes Virginia extremely happy. After this, Virginia is in her hospital gown, and she asks Enid to why everyone have a company's tattoo engraved on their hands. Suddenly, an assistant injects something through the IV and Virginia's vision begins to fade. Afterwards, the whole crew begins to chat in an unknown language. The screen goes black. At night, 
Fate comes to the house. The thunder is rumbling as the house lights are off. She jumps a bit after seeing her mom covered in bandages. She goes near her and tries to help her out. Virginia tells Faye that she feels so much pain after the surgery. She instructs her to get her the painkillers. Faye puts one in Virginia's mouth and makes her swallow it with water. Faye asks her on how long she has been like this and Virginia tells her that it has been a week now. Faye tells her about her debts and how the manager claims that they will go bankrupt. Virginia says that they will take a student loan and Faye is surprised by her audacity. Then it is revealed that Faye is Virginia's stepdaughter. Faye becomes angry and leaves. Virginia tries to stop her as she grunts in pain. She gets up and tries to take some more pills when she hears voices chanting something strange to her. She begins to scream and then Faye returns and assures her that she is with her. The next morning, Faye comes to her and gives her the medication. Virginia asks her why she came back. They told her because she remembered how once she cut her hair when she was young and her dad and mom were angry with her. But she did it anyway because it was important to her. She tells her that she has broke her mother's butterfly necklace that she gave to him as a family heirloom. They both begin to talk about the facelift and Faye tells Virginia that the bandages are a bit too thick for a simple facelift. Later on, Enid is checking Virginia's surgery and she tells her the swallowing is coming down so she will be getting rid of the bandages in a day or two. Enid then tells Virginia about a place that is for all of her clients, where they can go and heal as Faye is not a good impact on her. She also tells her that the visit will be free. Virginia agrees to join them. When Faye comes to know about this, she tries to stop her and tells her about Enid being a shady person. Virginia leaves anyway and reaches the location. Everyone there treats her very nicely. Enid tells her that she will take off her bandages in front of everyone tonight. Faye has followed her mother to the remote location, but she got captured and is taken away. Later at night, everyone gathers outside the location and Enid gives a welcoming speech. Then she calls Virginia and begins to remove the bandages. Virginia is shocked to see her swine-like nose and molded hands. Then all this is revealed to be a part of a ritual where they make someone like a pig, and then hunts them down and kills them. Then Enid tells her to run, and if she reaches the river, she will be free, otherwise they will sacrifice her for prosperity and beauty. She begins to run for her life and everyone begins to hunt her down. She sees Bernie and asks for help. Soon Cassie joins them and they both stabs her. Later on, everyone gathers and started stabbing Virginia till her death. After this, Faye comes there and mourns her loss. And it tells her that she is one of them as her actual mom was a part of this cult as well. Faye then looks at the butterfly tattoo and remembers her family heirloom. After some time, Faye is shown, apparently looking much younger. She is then seen in the college and meets a boy. He tells her that her tattoo is looking good. She notices the same tattoo on his hand too. They smile and begin to walk together. If you want us to make a recap on one of your favorite movie, or if you just want to support our channel, feel free to check our Buy Me Coffee page, linked in the description. This will support our channel tremendously to keep on making more and more quality recaps.